Good evening, GRS family. Once again, we come back on another Wednesday evening to thank God for another opportunity to come and share with you. Tonight, we're going to experience something totally different. We're having Family Bible Trivia Night. And it's going to be an enjoyable evening because I have my family with me tonight. And we have our oldest grandson that is going to uh, come and he's going to give you all the instructions on what we're going to do uh, this evening. We pray that all that we do tonight will be in fun and in good humor and that you will get your Bibles and get your family together as we come tonight with Family Bible Trivia Night. And I share, I really believe that it will be a wonderful experience for you as well as for, for us. So at this time, we're going to introduce our oldest grandson, William Hornbuckle, as he will come and introduce what the plans for this evening. Hello, everybody. My name is William, and today we will have a, a trivia game. So come team on. one, talk we will have team Nana. And team two is team Papa. Yeah! So each, and so each team, they get nine cards, and each person will have to have three uh, answers to the three questions to three questions they're going to get. And so that's how it's going to go. Team one, since it's ladies, they'll go first. I'll shuffle up the cards so that um they won't think I cheated or anything. You need to look at them. I'm shuffling. All right. And no cheating. This is faulty content. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These will go in my pocket in case it's a top burger. And this is the answer key. I'll let y'all see it. They are not allowed to see this answer key. Um, so team one, choose who is going to go first. We choose Nana. Wow. All okay. right, team, okay. team two, choose who you're going to go first. Papa. All right, so you draw your card. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Nana. I get the opportunity to draw first. The question is, who asked Pilate for Jesus' body after crucifixion? Question number eight. All right. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' body after the crucifixion? Our answer is Peter. I'm sorry to say this, but that is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can't answer again. How many tries did it is? How many tries did it is? Oh. Our answer is Mary. I'm sorry to say this, but that is incorrect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's, the hard, That's the hardest question on here. Can we have a clue? Um, of arrhythmia. Joseph, Joseph. <laughs> the answer is Joseph. That is correct. Yes! <laughs> hey, are you there? <laughs> they get put. I mean, you can use one here. All right. Team two? Yes. Team two. I'm Paul Paul. <laughs> Number 14. Who was the first person to come upon the injured man in the parable of the Good Samaritan? Oh. <laughs> we have an answer. What is your answer? The answer is the priest. I'm sorry, but the person that the question is given to has to answer. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the priest. That's correct. Yeah! <laughs> All right, the score is one to one after round one. Round two. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. She has to draw. Okay. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> How many books are in the New Testament? 
How many books are in the new What's set? number is this? Number two. All right. Thank you. I choose 27. I'm sorry to say this, but that is correct. Yes! <laughs> Why are you saying that? Alright, team two. Draw your card. Go go over. No, no. it's here. Oh, it's you. my turn. Yeah. Okay, our question is Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah when he was presented at the temple as a baby? Number seven, right? Yes, number seven. Number seven. Is the answer Jude? I'm 
sorry to say this, but that is incorrect. James. No, that's not right. I'm okay. sorry. Is that your answer? No, that's not my answer. Yeah, y'all said that. They said it. Okay, she said it. We got one more chance. Third John. Third John. He said Old Testament. <laughs> oh, so, so, it says New Testament. So, I know. Oh, it said New Testament. That looks so, 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 so close. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. All right. The answer was Second John. Oh, All right. 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 All what? Number three, what type of insect did John the Baptist eat in the desert? A fish! A locust. <laughs> a locust. <laughs> <laughs> a locust. <laughs> Jesus was born in the city of Bethlehem. That is 
Okay. Yeah. It was just a picture. Oh. All right. Yeah. Do you want to just take the lead? We got some hard ones. Yeah, y'all dig it, the hard ones. Uh-uh. We didn't shut up. We didn't shut up. Man, this is a race. I'm very, on um, every battle, you will meet fate as your to stop the fiery arrow aimed at you by Satan. Number 15. Number 15. In every what? In I got every breath. I know. Wait. I got it. <laughs> oh, in every battle. You will need faith, faith in as your, your. As your. Shield. The answer is shield. To stop the fight. Christopher is correct. Oh! <laughs> To the Beatitudes, who will be filled? You want to hit? Yes. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Um, something that you do when you're hungry for something that God gives you. Oh, oh I know. What's well, telling? <laughs> Hunger. That is part of it. It's Hunger and thirst for righteousness. That's correct. <laughs> Something that people have. Tax collector. Carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> Tax collector. 
I'm sorry, that that is incorrect. Tax collector. Oh, tax collector. That is correct. <laughs> All right, everybody. It is the last round. If you get this right and they get it wrong, you win. If you get this wrong, they get it right, y'all leave. Y'all both get it right, or both y'all get it wrong, we go into overtime. All right. All right. All right, let's do it. 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 Let's
with our family trivia uh, as a family tonight. And we want to thank our oldest grandson, William, for putting this together. <laughs> and we trust and pray that you've been blessed because we have been blessed. And we thank our, our uh, photographer, uh, Mr. William Hornbuckle, that, that is sitting back there. And, and we just give God all the glory and honor because what we're going through continuously in this day that we're living in, uh, it's good that families can still get together. And we trust and pray that we have been a blessing to you tonight. As you can see, we all need to read the book, the Bible. And then when we read the book in the Bible, let us put it in our hearts that we might not sin against God. It's been a blessing just to be sitting next to Nana and our, our daughter and our grandchildren and our son-in-law and we're in their home and we just give God all the praise. And I pray that you've had a blessed week this week. Even though the sun is shining, we know that after a while, the sun will shine that we'll be able to get back to the stop. So I hope to see you real soon. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you is our prayer. God bless.